Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you today and this one is a really close one between Dol Guldur and Mordor and this one comes down to the last few units, so definitely would stick around to see how this one ends but I know you guys have been enjoying a lot of Rise of Mordor at the moment and I thought I'd show you some more replays that have been sent over the last few days on the Discord if you'd like to send in your own then uh, the link is down below in the description and definitely we recommend joining if you'd like to get involved in some of Rizemore battles. Um, but yeah, so we have uh, Dol Guldur here in the red and we have in the gold we have Mordor. Mordor with the cavalry supremacy in this battle, which is kind of unusual. They've got lots of uh, servants of the eye, they've got vassal south from cavalry as well. Um, but Dol Guldur has certainly got the infantry superior superiority with their, like his heavily, heavily armoured orcs compared to like Mordors which are just like ragtag like barely armoured and uh, yeah it should be interesting to see whether the cavalry or the infantry can uh, win the day for their faction um, but there you go so we've got the general just charging in there to Merc with trackers he's probably going to annihilate these guys quite easily and there you go just like that and then there's uh, another servants of the eye here just destroying these Merc with trackers these servants of the eye are really really strong though so I mean a lot of money will have been put into them and now we've got some uh, gold or glaives going into combat to find the servants of the eye they uh, they might be able to chop down a few of these men since they're running away. Or maybe not. Who knows? But here we go. The first real... Well, I see the first real clash. The clash has already started over here. And Mordor's already wavering in this fight. He's got a, uh, he's got a Vassal Haradrim sword in here. And he's got, I think, Orc Warriors as well. But he's up against, like, Wraiths, Gold or Glaives. So some pretty nasty stuff. And, like, the Wraiths, for instance, just won't break. Which is something that Gold, uh, Dol Guldur's got the advantage on, that like, he can rely on some units to, just not to break. And there you go, actually I don't even think these were like, these were just rabble, they weren't even like, warriors, orc warriors, so I mean, no surprise there. It looks like the cavalry has already destroyed Merkwa trackers, I don't even know why Dol Guldur bothered bringing them, it's kind of a, kind of a waste, but uh, that's a shame, but these uh, gold or glaives here getting absolutely destroyed by this uh, south on cavalry. And I think there's some orc quarries in it as well, and chopping away. But yeah, these glaives, just for all their armor, they just can't deal with the cavalry. And there's servants of the eye in there as well, and there you go, those gold or glaives are breaking at 100. And now we've got uh, more blades over here, well, blades over here, not glaives, um, already uh, losing in combat. But I mean, they've won the infantry fight. They won the initial infantry fight. Has Dol Guldur, and uh, but on the flanks over here, it's not looking so good. Looks like he is uh, losing. I mean, no, they trapped the general in combat here. Though he's winning decisively. Jeez, brave, brave soldiers. I mean, they're orcs. I don't really. They're not that brave. But we'll uh, put it in slow mo for a little bit, just kind of get the idea of what's going on. So the flank over here. Dol Guldur, I'd say, is winning uh, as he cleared out most of the other little pockets of uh, combat that were going on. There's one certainly that was here. There's a couple over here. They're all now dealt with. He's now got units freed up. He's got Orc Pillagers, which is probably his best unit, like infantry unit, um, freed up. He's got Orc Warriors. His cavalry has just destroyed both flanks. But in the center, Dol Guldur has won the infantry fight. He's now got a nice rear guard of pikes just to defend him. And uh, yes, we'll have to see whether they can win. He's got a general here with triple gold chevrons. He's put a lot of money into this general unit as a Dol Guldur. And it's just destroying orc warriors. So I'll watch that now. I mean, there's wraiths in here as well. Yeah, but this heavily armored is shocking because he's probably just going to do a lot of damage. And more uh, orcs going in. More orc warriors. Committing as more break, and here come the cavalry, vassal style from cavalry coming in. Not a great charge. I mean, they actually got trapped on the pikes, and one died there. But there you go. So the cavalry is now pulling back because it realizes, well, there's shock infantry in here. And their big old axes will chop down any cavalry. I mean, there's some more uh, south from cavalry just getting destroyed. That's what Dol Guldur needs to do, though. He needs to just keep taking out these cavalry. I mean, if the general keeps just charging like this, eventually they'll just trap him. 
And uh, yeah, that's not good for the Wraith, so they, that's not healthy just to charge into, an, into a cavalry charge. You don't want to do that. And see, they're now pulling back at the... I mean, the General's lost about 20 men. That shows how strong this unit is, and this has been, like, constantly fighting. And on this one, this one's basically fresh, and it's been in combat most of the battle. Yeah, these servants of the eye are nasty. And then, well, it looks like there's only a few uni units left for Dolgodot. I mean, surely he's just going to try and take out this. I mean, he could certainly try to take out this flank over here. This is pretty weak. The servants of the eye is nearly dead. But he's just using, getting constantly, like, cycle charged. And that's the problem with Dolgodor at the moment. They've got no cavalry. I presume they'll get, like, wags eventually, but... So will Mordor, I imagine, possibly. Um, so, I mean, they then have some cavalry, but, yeah, right now they just don't have anything to, like, counter this cavalry. And, like, Vassal South, uh, South from Cavalry is actually, like, turning out to be such a great, like, use and buy in this game. Like, usually you see it in, like, oh, well, that's going to get, like, instantly annihilated by, cal by archers or other cavalry. But uh, against a force with no cavalry, they're doing just quite fine. Let's see. I think the servants of the eye are going to charge in here. There's only a few wraiths left, bless them, and they're just going to get like... I was about to say get mown down, but that was like the, like the worst charge I think I've seen in history. But who would you rather fight for? Would you rather fight for the hordes of uh, Mordor? Or would you rather fight for like Dol Guldur, which is a little bit more elite. It's got more like elite armor. Would you rather like be with the beasts of war like Mordor with like all their trolls and all the Kai? Be, just let me know in the comments. I'd be quite interested to know what you guys who'd rather be for. You'd probably be all like, I'd rather fight for Gondor. Because they look awesome. Which I mean they do. But wh who'd you rather fight for? Golgodor or for Mordor? I mean they are basically like the same sort of thing. They're only the same master, but you got a different like setup. One's more heavily armored. One has like huge amounts of men. But yeah, these glaives are actually doing some work. Ones I think they're taking out these pillagers quite nicely. Yeah, losing slightly. But I mean, all the rest of Dolgodor is losing pretty decisively. And I mean, I think the general scene that this unit is uh, struggling and. The glaives are coming in. Uh, I mean, about to get trampled, sorry. By the uh, servants of the eye. And there they go. Dead. That'll be them. Yeah, I mean, they're already down 75. They're now wavering. Just get surrounded and they, that's it. I mean, it's still pretty hard to say. Because, I mean, if they can take out the general, who's pretty weak. Mordor might have a, side, uh, have a uh, bit of a, like, route, to be honest. He's not got much, like, in the way of, like... Units with strong morale, like orc warriors, probably will break at the sight of like a formidable foe. And pillagers are probably the same. Basically, Mordor just relies on like mass troops, not quality. And these wraiths just won't break though. They will not break. I mean, they are like undead people. They probably shouldn't be breaking. Well, they won't. I 100% know that they won't break this. Like, look at this guy down here. He's like, oh god, being attacked on all fronts by some like angry horseman. He's still alive, still kicking. Uh, he's dead now. Rip. But I mean, yeah, it's, this is kind of all that's left. Oh my god, this is gonna be a nasty charge, or could be a nasty charge. I bet there's hardly any wraiths in there. Uh, that like Vassal South from Cavalry is just like charged in. They just they've got to hit two wraiths. Like at that point, you just you're not going to hit them. I mean, they charge and throw him back here. It's like the only time I've seen Mordor do that. He's done been quite good in getting around and actually like hitting the back of the in, uh, back of the infantry line. This time he's actually charging into the back of his own troops, which is uh, never that great. But the wraiths here are losing decisively, and that's probably gonna well wrap up the two flanks and just leaves the center the center force which has just got the pikes and the uh, really elite shock infantry left and it's like the two wraiths over here still still kicking somewhere like they're probably do i mean if there was like friendly fire and you're doing more damage to your own troops than to uh 
these wraiths, because you've literally got to hit one wraith there. But uh, we'll just fast forward like ever so slightly, because I mean, all they're doing is just killing like one or two wraiths. Like they've done it there. They're about to, I think they're about to do it over here as well. These wraiths are so annoying to kill. I mean, they're gonna charge them now with like two units of cavalry. Oh, yeah, they're they're somewhere in there. They're dead. I can't even see them. Like poor. I don't even. That might be an orc. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're all dead. Those wraiths. And now it kind of leaves like, what do you do with this? This is pretty hard to get through. There's two units of pikes in here. One facing like that way and one facing that way. And then you've got the general in the middle. The smart thing to do is to attack on the flanks here. like Which I think what Mordor's getting ready to do. He's got his uh, orc pillagers there. And he's just going to attack on this little flank. And you just do the same on the other side with infantry. And then you just kind of see him wait till... They reposition, sort of thing. But it looks like the general's actually pulling out. I feel like he's a. Uh... Oh, he's gonna try and go after the Mordor's general and try and cause a chain route. But he's uh, gonna get charged down at least once by the south. Uh, by the, I was about to call him the South Front Carry. This is not the, the servants of the eye. The south Front Carry is not this good looking. And yeah, look, the general's just gonna run away. Like this is a cavalry unit. Why would he like even come close? And they're actually gonna send in the pikes without their pikes. Oh no, they're getting the pikes out again just at the last moment as the cavalry charged in. But yeah, the general is uh, already pretty beaten up. He's already lost over half his men. And the cavalry here, the cavalry, the pikes here, just like minding their own business. And the pillagers getting in behind, so they're going to try and flank, but uh, the pikes have seen it and they're going to turn around. And no, no, that just denied. Stabbed them as they run away. But now I think, uh, yeah, you got some orc warriors here that are going to just sneak in and do the job. Sneaky little orcs. Now the pillagers are coming in this side. I don't know why they're doing this. Seems a bit silly just to charge on that side. They are. I mean, this general is still holding on quite well. He, I mean, there's hope for him if he can chop down this cavalry. But he's getting absolutely swamped. And he's losing slightly now. There's like hardly any of them. They're like... Hidden in a sea of cavalry. Here's one of the brave men. Or orcs, I should say. The enemy general has died, though. The enemy general has died for Dol Guldur. And that's going to cause a rout. And that's going to be GG for Mordor. It was a Pyrrhic victory in the end. But uh, yeah, it was a close, close thing. And, uh, I mean, yeah, the infantry for Mordor doesn't really survive. It just comes down to the cavalry. 713 kills for the servants of the eye. Jeez. And his general got 489, and the other one got 200, which is pretty shabby in comparison to the other ones. His uh, vassal south from cavalry, 176. But another one getting 347. It's insane. His pillagers actually did get 228. I did say they were the, probably the best infantry they had. And uh, orc warriors getting, like, 100... Uh, 45 kills, it's not bad either. But I wouldn't know many of the servants of the eye just like running down uh, Merc with trackers because they're like 200 man units and uh, they could definitely get quite a lot of kills from just them. Um, but yeah, then Dol Guldur, uh, who was play oh yeah, sorry, um, Mordor was played by Cool Breeze who sent it this in, so uh, well done to him on this victory and some insane kills. And then uh, Dol Guldur was played by Executioner, um, he got 460. 64 kills with his uh, champions of Dol Guldur, which is pretty good. His wraiths did really well, getting 225 and 216. His blades, uh, which are like his main infantry, only getting like 100s for most of them. I mean, these two got 191 and 227, which is pretty good. Punching through the front line of like orcs are just terrible. His glaives, I mean, well, this one getting 33, which is not good. Uh, one getting 238, which is really good. I mean, yeah, his other glaives just seem to get destroyed, I think, by cavalry. Which is a shame, his pikes only getting like 20 odd kills because they just, he's playing defensive with them and his archers do nothing. So, uh, well done to Executioner, he's really unlucky. I mean, he got some really good kills with his infantry and uh, Cool Breeze did with his cavalry. As I said, they probably would because that's where he was strongest, like their factions in this battle anyway. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed and would like to see more Rise of Mordor action, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment. I know this one was a short one. Uh, but it was a really, really uh, close and interesting one to watch. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.